Good morning and happy Friday, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 8th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a big surge in uh, tech giants. The Magnificent Seven did almost all of the lifting yesterday. Will they be able to keep that going today? Well, first off, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Asian markets mixed overnight um, Nikkei and uh, Hong Kong was just slightly down Nikkei actually wasn't slightly down 550 points but um, everything else was modest gains very modest gains as a matter of fact Shanghai only put in 3.3 uh, dollars in gain over there. Um, if we look at Europe, European markets are mostly green across the board. The three majors, of course, um, the DAX, the FTSE, and the CAC are green this morning, looking to uh, try and move higher after yesterday's selling. And here in the United States, we were really the only uh, major economy that showed growth yesterday, and it was all on the back of the tech giants we have kind of a modest uh, look here this morning um, we've got uh, Dow and S&P 500 futures up um, and Nasdaq just slightly lower but everything is modest um, in those moves oil prices this morning are higher we have um, oil up $1.36 a barrel this morning um, which is interesting um, simply because we continue to see that weakness, that decline in Asia. We have um, bond prices just ever so slightly ticking higher here this morning, probably anticipation of um, the jobs numbers today. So kind of keep an eye on that. But what does all this mean for today? Well. How about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to shake off a little bit of bias, and let's see if we can gain some um, um, ideas about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, one of the things that's very notable, I think, in this chart here of the diamonds is the very tight consolidation that we're seeing in here. And anytime we run a tight consolidation like that, we have a fairly strong potential in that that we could um, either make that break to the upside here at any point in time or we could pop on out. I call this a pop out of the box pattern. Nice little tight pattern in here. Um, we could pop on out to the top side of that if we can find some kind of inspiration. But at the same time, we could break to the downside here as well. One of the things you want to pay attention to, if this is the upside trend, we're starting to slip beyond that trend. And one of the things we're starting to see is breadth in the market declining as well. And that gives us more of that possibility of, well, we could go either direction here. Um, let's take a look. Let's throw those drawings back on here. And if the bulls were to find inspiration today, let's take a look. We've got this resistance that comes right over here, um, all the way back here to 2021, that little peak right there, 2022, that peak right there. There was another little peak right here in 2022, and that's what set that resistance level up there. So if those bulls can find inspiration here today, then I would look for that opportunity that we could run up there and test that level in the chart. Um, reason to believe that that's possible um, and if we break through there then of course we're on our way to try and break through the uh, high um, all-time high here in the diamonds if the bears however happen to find some inspiration I'm gonna put a line right across here and I think that's gonna be the critical area of the chart if the bears were able to push us down through there and break that um, big white candle base um, and the top of the, of the other one I think we would come back down and if you look right across over here gotta go all the way back over here again there's a little tiny bit 
price res, uh, support right here in the chart that we might be able to test and bounce off of. If we are unable to bounce off of that, then I think the uh, next area is really down here around the bottom of that candle. Just kind of keep in mind, this is over a 500 point candle here. That could be a little bit painful coming back into the support area of the chart. Not saying that's going to happen, but um, you know, it's certainly a possibility. And um, let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. SPY has been locked in this range bound area of the market where we've had, um, you know, big old bearish engulfing candles that get completely reversed the next day. And um, we continue to chop in this range. So far, we have not been able to break through the top side of that and break this, this uh, trend that I've got right in here. We haven't been able to break back up through that um, after sliding out from under it here um, a while ago. And we've got this resistance up here that just seems to be a little bit tenacious. We've not been able to just get right through it. We've punched up there a couple of times, banged our head against it, and then backed away. Seems to be too strong at the moment. But maybe today is the day. Maybe today we'll push on through and pop that resistance in the chart, and then we'll start pushing on up to this next resistance that I've got marked that, once again, goes all the way back over here, the underneath side of these um, tops here in 2022. Now, if the bears find inspiration today, then I'm going to look for that retest down here. Um, as you can see, that's where we've been bouncing around in this chart. And if that uh, were to fail, then we're looking to move um, a little bit lower. And I think down in this range here in that little consolidating area might be the next area a lower before we come on down to the bigger support area in the chart right down in here so watch that carefully if we take a look at our qqq um also very range bound here um we had um some uh, big bearishness showed up there a day ago and then we just reversed it all of a sudden with uh, big tech google um, AMD did some real heavy lifting um, yesterday and then of course the majority of big tech joined in to that party and that's where the growth was yesterday in the market if you'll take a look here uh, that possibility that holding this price support could provide that inspiration for us to continue to push and maybe we can break through this area this time here in the chart uh, just realizing that as we break through that area then we may be kind of stretching up to those next levels in the chart i've marked out all-time highs but I do think there's some areas in here in the middle that are certainly worth um, a marking for potential resistance if we push on through if the bears find inspiration well I think the only place we have is just to push right back down into this area of the chart of course we could stop right here at the base of that candle um, there is some support right through here as you can see underneath that little support area and uh, right above this area but um, if the bears really were to get going I would suggest down into this area of the chart and that failing could create some pain because we fall into this pretty substantial gap here on the QQQ if we were to fall in through there. So kind of keep that in mind if that were to occur. And then our Russell IWM um, trying to do uh, about the best of all the indexes yesterday um, hanging in there in this consolidation pattern and when i mean best not the biggest move but the best pattern here overall and showing that bullishness and we're trying to pop up here this morning in the pre-market as you can see on that now keeping in mind we are stuck in a range here excuse me we are stuck in a range here as well as you can see um, in the chart we've got a fairly significant resistance up here and that resistance runs back across this chart a long ways there's a lot of evidence of price action right in there and you can see we tested it as resistance once backed away from it we're going to make another attempt here it looks like to try and push up there and see if we can break through that area of the chart if we can then we're 
looking for that next area above for that next resistance area in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration and push us back down, we'll first think, you know, get down through this little consolidation area and then see if we'll break into this next support. Now, keeping in mind um, what we might see here in the Russell is just simply a choppy sideways move out toward one of these trends before we make that decision on which way we're going to go. It's taking a look at our VIX. Um, what's interesting yesterday is even with um, um, that fear that we had the day before, the VIX really didn't do much yesterday. It did move up a little bit higher, even as uh, big tech was rallying, but no real change here. Um, there's just no fear in the market at all. Bears aren't doing anything um, uh, at all. So you got to give this up to the bulls. That's all there is to it. If if the um, bulls find inspiration today, maybe we look for a retest down in here toward these lows. Now remember, we're very, very complacent here. Uh, P ratios for the market are ridiculously high on the S&P 500. But um, that doesn't seem to matter right now. As long as it's something in tech or something related to AI, we're blindly buying it. Um, we don't really know what um, what the outcome of that is going to be yet, but um, certainly there is a lot of excitement and energy to buy it. If the bears were to find that inspiration, well, maybe we come up here and we test this 13 and a half handle area of the chart where we've been dealing with before and can't seem to quite get up through that area. If we take a look at our T2122, now T2122 had an interesting day yesterday. It did try to pop up at a one point in time when we gapped up yesterday morning. We were up here trying to poke right back through um, that um, bearish um, reversal zone here in the chart. But as the day went on, we kind of faded this back so what that means is if the bulls find inspiration, we certainly have that upside opportunity. If there's something in the data today that gets the market excited, we've got room for that to go. So keep an eye on that. And if the bears are to find some inspiration, we certainly have downside opportunity. And with the parabolic moves that we've seen in this market, the resting pattern that we've had over the last week certainly is helpful um, in holding some support levels. But I do believe we're probably closer to a little bit more of that um, selling or buying relief pullback or um, uh, maybe even a longer term protracted consolidation in the market from this extension away from our moving averages and technicals in the charts. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108, as you can see, ended up the day just ever so slightly moving up just just really couldn't get a whole lot going yesterday um, at some points in the day it was looking a little bit lower just back and forth in here 68 percent of the stocks are, remember anything up here in between 65 75 we become very very frothy um, in the market and we're looking for that pullback to occur at any time one of the things that um, you have to look at though is there's no evidence yet that we're ready to pull back and even if we do um, catch a little pullback we've got some support levels right through here um, support levels right through here that could certainly catch us if we do pull back so I don't think I would be too worried about it and um, right now there's no evidence that they're ready to do that just yet uh, t2107 uh, very much the same. Ended up turning up right at the end of the day, trying to pick up. Obviously, our trend is still bullish in here, up here above, um, you know, 48%. We've got um, that 50% area where we have failed there. That might become a little bit of a resistance area as we try to push back up. We've got this downtrend in here that we also want to be thinking about as we push back up. But if we pull back, just kind of keep in mind, we've got some good support areas in here. And at the moment, T2107 isn't giving us any evidence that that's going to occur except that extreme extension in the market. And then if we look at our uh, T2101, well, T2101 showed us that little bit of a problem that we had yesterday. And that is that little decline in breadth 
of the market showing that we might be running out of some of that energy and then just keeping in mind we are moving into the blackout period of um, corporate buybacks and that on its own because the corporate buybacks have been massive this quarter that um, just those corporate buybacks um, halting um, alone may have that breath declining now keep in mind corporate buybacks aren't going to stop all on one single day it phases in over a period of time as we head toward those um, next quarter earnings so keeping in mind that that will slowly fade out here in the market and we might see that breadth pulling back because it is a big part of the movement of the market here lately. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. Now our earnings calendar, we don't have much to worry about today. Um, we've only got two verified reports and really only one that would be particularly notable. First, um, JOUT is on the list. Um, obviously uh, getting a hit lower here in the pre-market on its earnings but the reason it's not particularly notable is that it, it it never even gets up here into uh, you know a reasonable volume trading somewhere around um, 50,000 shares on a daily basis is not um, something that would be particularly notable but then um, um, the notable one for today is Momo Momo picking up here we've got um, 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 a lot more volume in this uh, big pop here in the pre-market kind of keep in mind all this resistance we're trying to decide if this is going to be the bottom for Momo or not so watch that one close then let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar here for today our, our excuse me our economic calendar here for today what we've been talking about this morning about the data that is coming of course is going to be the employment situation number right now consensus is suggesting that we're going to have 180,000 um, non-farm payroll jobs coming in which is a growth over the prior and remember we've been seeing a little bit of data that's suggesting that job growth could be slowing down. I don't know if this report's going to start showing us that increase here or not, but we'll want to watch uh, that number here. Looking for 150,000 in private payrolls, um, overall uh, participation rate of 62.8, which they're looking at that increasing. Um, I think that might be an interesting one to pay attention today because I think there's a chance we're going to start seeing participation rate going the other direction. I could be wrong, but watch that. And then, of course, this is going to be an important one. 34.3, um, looking for um, average work week staying the same. Remember, one of the things, instead of laying off, companies will do is they'll say, well, we'll cut your hours, you can keep your benefits, kind of a thing. We might start seeing this tick lower as well as that hint of a bigger problem coming in the jobs market as our economy slows. So watch carefully for those numbers today. And then we've got consumer sentiment in here. Uh, they're expecting consumer sentiment to improve um, just a little bit to 61.9. What's interesting is um, inflation expectations they're suggesting by the consumers are falling to 4.2%. Um, and then we've got a Baker Hughes rate count, which nobody's going to care about on the day. So I think the big question for us is, can we hold this momentum into the close of this week? Can we hold that upside move into the end of this week? Or will we start to see that fade? Um, we've The last couple of days, we've tried to pop. We've tried to engineer a big upside move in the market, in the pre-market, and then just see it kind of fade back as the day goes on. Um, we may be losing that upside energy here, and that pullback could begin at any time. Can't say it's going to be today. Maybe it's um, um, next week. And maybe we go on higher before we do that. Maybe we just kind of exhaust that move to the upside before we reverse and turn back around. So be really, really careful in your trading not to over trade the long side here. Um, I think a pullback could occur 
uh, at any time. So just be prepared for that and uh, make sure to raise those stop losses. Um, be a little bit careful on those knee-jerk reaction trades like the last couple of days. I know a lot of folks probably got stuck into those knee-jerk reaction trades, jumping in first thing in the morning, then having the market fade back. So be really careful. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, put an emoji on it, it doesn't matter. Engagement with the video helps just about as much as anything to help the, the channel to grow. The YouTube um, algorithm figures that if folks are um, responding and engaging with the video, then they should show that video to more folks. So thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Looking at stocks that could be setting up, remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Follow your trading plan, your trading um, risk tolerances before you pick uh, up on any position. Let me talk about a little bit what's going on here with the dollar. This is going to be very critical, I think, to how the market's going to perform um, here in the near future is how that dollar continues to respond. We've got this little bit of a downtrend starting up here in the dollar. We've been pushing lower, and as the dollar pushes lower, remember bond yields fall, bonds prices go higher. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. If this continues to drift lower here in the market, then I would look for those bond um, prices to move up and those yields to continue to decline. Breaking some support levels in here could be really critical uh, for the dollar or UUP here as I'm using as a representation of the dollar. So watch that carefully. Um, take a look at uh, gold. Gold has been holding up pretty darn well here um, overall as the dollar has been um, showing that weakening, um, resting, and, and actually trying to rally back up here just a little bit lately. So watch this carefully in here, this nice little trend happening in gold. Now what's important here is if gold starts really pushing here to the upside, I want you to notice there is a major top up here in gold. It is a substantial top. You can see we have tempted several times for gold to break through here if the dollar falls hard. And I think there is a potential that we're going to continue to see that dollar weakening. Then watch this here. We could see some record highs coming in gold prices. Uh, keep a close eye on that. Um, and remember, we don't typically see people rise, race to gold unless there's a little bit of fear. Um, out there with the overall economy and we're seeing a lot of that fear trade here in the market so keep an eye on that another place where we're seeing that fear trade is here in TLT and those bond yields uh, or excuse me bonds themselves 20-year Treasury very very strong pushing up and you don't have to like TLT you can go to uh, BND BND has been, has been racing to the upside here doing really really well um, breaking through some resistance levels any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity in BND uh, junk bonds have been racing to the upside there's a lot of places you can go on this and you'd see that something significant has changed here and if the dollar continues to weaken these are going to continue to grow so watch that carefully I would I would suggest that, um, a rest or pullback is coming but keep a close eye on that also keep an eye if the dollar is going to continue to weaken um, take a look at some of our other commodities in here now um, steel dynamics broke through this major resistance area here in the chart pushed up really hard and fast, broke through another area. Now it's pulling back pretty sharply, but watch this area in here. We might catch a little bit of price support and that may actually hold in here. Keep an eye on um, Steel Dynamics. Um, 
Cleveland Cliffs has also been pulling back rather sharply after breaking through some resistance here in the chart. But you'll notice that we've got some nice support right in here. And as this pulls back, we may just find that support in here as a little bit of rest and then move on through to the upside following the trend. So keep a cl close eye on some of those commodities out there in the market. Other things to maybe be paying attention to, another commodity would be those um, areas of the chart in uranium. My goodness, uranium has been amazing this year, continuing to um, um, to show lots and lots of strength. La this week we've been pulling them back here a little bit, resting a little bit in that chart, but we're well above a nice support level in, the, in this area. Watch that area in here. UEC would definitely be another one to be paying attention to. That's been holding in this nice steady upside trend in the chart looking good. Other areas of the market, you might want to be taking a look at old 3M. Old boring company breaking through this big downtrend here in the chart. It's been very, very oversold, been moving up nicely in this consistent manner. Um, watch this little consolidating move in here. I think there is that opportunity. 3M could get something going here eventually. It might need a little bit more rest. And of course, if the overall market does pull back, I would expect a lot of these stocks kind of get drawn into that pullback, at least a, 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 a substantial consolidation could come into play. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be keeping an eye on this. Um, I think we should also be keeping an eye on Coca-Cola. Coke has been resting in this pattern after a very strong rally to the upside. And there are quite a few of these defensive sector stocks showing that bullishness in the market. Take a look at Tyson finally getting involved in this move and um, and rotation, I think, um, into these old boring companies, um, the laggards of the market. And you can see Tyson pushing up strongly here now. Tyson still has this problem where we've got to get out of that uh, downtrend here in the chart. So we've still got some work here to do to, to break through there. But we are seeing some of those um, old boring companies just seeing that rotation back into um, some upside move here in these charts. Um, certainly you want to keep an eye on what's going on in building right now. Toll Brothers report the other day has inspired a lot of those builders to continue to stretch up and a lot of the things that supply those builders. Um, take a look at Fastenal. Fastenal breaking through resistance here in the chart. So just really shooting up. Now we've got some all-time highs up here that we may be shooting for, but what I would suspect at this point, maybe a little bit of a rest or a pullback in here, and I would be looking for that next opportunity into Fastenal. Um, you could take a look at um, Lowe's, um, getting that little consolidation in here right now, get some kind of rest, pulling back maybe in here to this support, consolidate a little bit, find that trend out here, and then look for that next opportunity in Lowe's. Home Depot would be another one of those. We're running into a big area of resistance here in the chart. We might end up in a little bit of a choppy consolidation right here, or even more of a protracted pullback, but I would keep some close eyes on that. There may be more upside as long as, long as we're gonna be pushing those builders higher, the builders are gonna need a place to buy their materials. So kind of keep an eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today and, and thank you so much for all the kind um, response to the channel this week um, uh, in the comments. I really, truly appreciate it. You guys be safe, be careful. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.